AI. AI presets, what are they, how do they work, and are they for you, are they for me? Let's take a look in this video. So I woke up this morning hearing from a friend that my name was a topic of conversation amongst some peers in the landscape photography community, specifically in regards to AI and AI presets. Now, I'm not surprised to hear this because recently I released a big pack of AI presets and these are currently being marketed and rolled out in ads across all the socials. So no doubt countless people are seeing these probably wondering what they are and also wondering what does it mean for me, my photography and how are my images made? Does it mean that everything's fake? Is it made up? Do I just make all my photographs sitting here in the office, etc.? So let's have a look at the AI presets and then I wanna go down the road of philosophy a little bit, workflow and products and business. Firstly, what is a preset? Well, a preset is where you can do an edit on an image and then save the adjustments to then apply that over and over again on different images. It's a great way to streamline your post-processing. Presets have been around forever, over a decade, and they're used by different people all across the industry. An AI preset is the same thing. However, AI technology within Lightroom and Photoshop, the AI is being used in order to mask out certain areas of the image so the preset is not being applied completely globally. And that was the problem with presets in the past is that it would do a global adjustment across the entire image. The AI is now allowing for the preset to be adjusted for every single raw file specifically to get better results. So if you have a look here, you can see that the preset's being applied, but when we go over to the masking, it's perfectly masked off the mountain, for example. In the past, that wouldn't have happened. The preset would have applied across the whole image. If we open up a different raw file, the AI technology will mask the preset off the other subject matter. So it's quite intelligent in the sense that it's gonna read every single raw file individually and then apply the adjustments specifically for that image. Now for us as creatives, there's so many ways that we can utilize AI, but it's up to us as individuals to determine what we want to use and what we don't want to use. So at the moment, I've noticed the last six or 12 months, there's people completely creating images using AI from scratch and then sharing that online. And it's pretty much looks like photography, really. Then there's other people like myself who will use the AI technology to clean up a raindrop on an image or a dust spot or something like that. In the past, I would do that manually in Photoshop and it would take anywhere from five to 10 minutes for example. The AI technology is allowing us to do this instantly. And for me, the less time I'm spending in front of the computer, the better. AI presets are perfect for people who are just starting out on their photography journey, starting out dabbling with post-processing, and you have no idea what to do with your images. And you just wanna get some quick adjustments and have a little bit of fun. The important part to remember with photography and any art is that we all get into it for different reasons. And my motives and the philosophy behind my workflow is gonna be completely different from someone else who's picking up a camera today for the first time. Some people may just wanna have fun transforming the look of their images. There's no regard for reality. There's no care for even going out in the field. They just wanna have fun playing with photographs that they've happy snapped around the backyard. Then you get people like me who kinda of have a few screws loose. I have this problem where I need to be out in the field experiencing moments that move me. I wanna be humbled by nature. When I first picked a camera up over almost 15 years ago now, I was in a bad state. I was struggling with depression. I was at a point in my life where, to be honest, I, I didn't wanna be around anymore. And I was numb to everything. I had no emotion in life. It's like the color was stripped from my life. The photography came in as a real blessing from the Lord and it really has changed my life in every way and I get goosebumps talking about it now. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have my wife and my two young children. I wouldn't be living here in New Zealand if it wasn't for photography, but primarily it's what the camera can do. It can get you up, it can get you outside, and it can get you looking and experiencing at things which are far greater than anything man can ever make. There's something incredibly powerful in that. It's very humbling 
And for me personally, it started to put that colour back into my life. It started to put that joy and it started to make me feel things again after being so numb. What I fell in love with was not actually really making the photograph. What I fell in love with was being outside and seeing things which are just fleeting and I know I probably won't ever experience it again. Storms out across the ocean, standing inside a sea cave, watching a lightning bolt just blast the horizon in front of me. Rainbows just stretching across a fjord, rainbows perfectly arching over sea stacks. You can make all that up in Photoshop. You've been able to do that for over a decade now. Now with AI, you can make it all up just like that with the click of a mouse. If that's what you want to do with your work, that's fine. There's no rules here. It's fun. Be creative. It's not how I use the technology though. It's not how I use Photoshop and it's not how I use a camera. I'm using the camera as something that accompanies me and it's my way of expressing my experiences of a place. If I'm out there and I don't feel it in my chest, if I'm not being moved, if things aren't doing exactly what I hoped with the light, then you're never gonna hear about it. You're probably never gonna see that image. But eventually, because I do have a few screws loose, I will be there when that moment happens because I never give up. And that's what I've done since day one. It's just something inside of me that isn't quite satisfied. Even when I finally get there and witness that moment, there's almost a bit of disappointment because that's it, the moment's gone and I can never relive that moment again. And the image just serves as a little bit of a representation of my given point in time. A preset, someone's editing workflow, that's all individual and up to each person how they want to do it. I've made these presets here as a way to help beginners just have a bit of fun with their raw files, transform the look of their images. I know when I first started out, I didn't want to touch editing at all. And then I went the other extreme and got a bit carried away with it and went too far. And then I kind of found my own little rhythm and groove and look which I felt really did justice to the raw files and what I was experiencing out in nature. If you follow along on my YouTube channel, you'll see exactly how I like to shoot my scenes. You'll see how I post-process my images. And the one thing with education is that there's things that the teacher may do, but it's not always applicable to every single student because it completely depends on where you're at. And the problem with something like social media and running ads or even putting a video out is that it's getting broadcast to every single person from the absolute amateur to the seasoned professional. The same message is getting put out there. For those people that have come out here and joined me in the field, I've had the privilege of teaching so many people through workshops. Thank you, because you know what this means to me, this artwork, and you know how much I just love pursuing those moments, reading the weather, exploring, and just being humbled out there. For all of you who keep watching the YouTube channel, thank you, it means so much, and I intend to keep making more. So let me know what else you wanna see here on the channel. For those of you who have learned from me online through my various tutorials, whether here on YouTube or in the courses that I release, thank you so much because I get a hater every now and then, but for every hater, there's 10 times more people just letting me know that I've really helped you understand your camera, understand the post-processing, or when it comes to something like presets, it's just giving you a bit of joy and fun in the beginning of your photography journey. So I wanted to clear the water there. If you know me, if you know what I stand for, you know the work I make, thank you. Hopefully that's transparent in everything across my socials. When you see an ad come out for a product, it doesn't mean it is always for you just because you're seeing that ad. There's different things for different people. Ultimately, there's no rules in art. Thank you so much for the support. If you want to try some of these presets, check out the link below. If you want to watch dozens of other free videos helping you understand your camera, just check out the back catalog here on my YouTube channel. As always, I'm all ears. Let me know your comments. Thank you so much for everything and I'll see you in the next video.